Hello chess enthusiasts, I'm thrilled to share a recent game between Alpha Zero and me. Alpha Zero is constantly learning from his practices and self-observation. Alpha Zero represents an united software incorporating global insights. This game is truly remarkable and worth to watch. Let's dive in. I started the game with d4, knight f6, d4 e6 and he played Nimso Indian defense. Very cool like Red Bull wine. Knight f3 could be played by white then after c5. Take knight e5. Don't be panic for this. Play queen d4. Here best move for black is to play queen f6 but if your non-vegetarian opponent eats the knight, capture the knight, bishop a5 queen captured rook to f8 bishop comes, it's going to be a tough situation for black as the bishop is poised to infiltrate the king's position, backed by a rook attack, hope you learned a chess opening very well, so back to the position, I played e3 and like and subscribe to the channel now because you are a gem in a world full of rocks. White have various types of opening which he can apply in his game, g4 tactic is also noteworthy. Don't give up because of one bad chapter in your life, keep going, your story doesn't end here. So I played d5 to start a new journey in my life, playing knight e7 is good but after g4, g5 is the threat so after some fights, knight f3 g6, blocking the bishop's escape route but don't worry, he have a best friend on g5, king g7, d6 take rook g1, if black plays knight f6 then he will fall in a trap, because now you can sacrifice your knight on f7, take take, look at the king. He is going to lose all his wealth in casino, knight d5 check king to e6 f4, f5 poses a checkmate threat, leading the black king towards hell, akin to consuming the forbidden apple from the cursed tree. I don't want someone who sees only the good in me, I want someone who sees the bad and still loves me. Because I am lazy and careless, I have no intention to grow in life, lol, back to the position, alpha played knight b8, maybe he want to play d6 and knight in this way, couple of moves later we have bishop c5 knight g3 a5 knight a4 attacks it, knight d7 h3 c6 b4, I don't know why alpha didn't capture the pawn to open up the file, he just to keep his position closed, that's not as important as you need to play best moves, c5 bishop back to e1. Again alpha should go for bishop b7 but he decided to play rook f8. Are you kidding me alpha, am I joke to you, play respectfully otherwise I will eat you, g6 to solidify the structure however I could capture the pawn, take take king h8 queen takes check, with his king exposed, it's tough for black to survive, the evaluation is plus 1.7, white, with more active pieces across the black king side, holds a significant advantage, black might resign in a few moves, similar to the briefest conflict involving the British Empire against Zanzibar in 1896. Zanzibar surrendered after 38 minutes, but in our actual game, I played bishop takes d7, bishop here knight here rook goes to b5. Sacrificing the rook because if you capture it then after takes, two connected pass pawns are like Mr. Beast which will create problems on b6 square, rook here b6 bishop runs knight comes takes takes, you have to protect your rook by moving the rook to somewhere, a6 and that's it, dark forces are poised to take control of the queen side entirely, with a knight and rook applying additional pressure on black, so back to the position. Alpha moved up his queen because it's the one only piece which was undeveloped. Every morning you have two choices, continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them, Alpha want to eliminate the b6 knight by knight d7 so queen d3 rook here and after couple of moves both sides are awaiting for position break, moving their pieces synonymously. We have rook exchanges and bishop elimination on a5 square, alpha 0 attacks to the a4 pawn so we have knight c3 and you know what, you are valuable and the universe needs you right where you are, never forget that, never let anyone convince you otherwise. My rook d8 move has a very tricky plan to attack on his pieces by the protection of d5 knight, so if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, something like rook takes a4 knight f6 queen b8, takes takes, supported by the queen and queen b3 will attack at your rook in this way, black is also pressuring to the knight with two pieces, takes takes, knight backs and that's it, white ends up with rook and queen which is enough to win the end game and chess friends. You can like and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this and you know a fact, gratitude can boost dopamine and serotonin, just like antidepressants, that's why I use quotes in my videos to boost your wisdom, 
rook a7 by alpha, I played knight b5 to attack him, but alpha didn't save his rook, he rather, played bishop takes d5, sacrifices his rook in exchange because he might thought I would give up my rook, no fool, I only give up my rook to disrupt king's safety and his position. And this end game is very easy for white, hope you can understand it like Newton. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.